Welcome back to the shop. I'm doing some cam degreeing just for the fun of it. Um, I was discussing with a friend of mine and he mentioned, you know, just out of curiosity to see where they land. So not really a big fan of this fixture here, but it's what I've got. So that's what I want to work with. Um, much better option would be a, a solid mag mount, but it is what it is. I also got a degree wheel here. Now my mount, just went into a motor mount with a spare bolt with a jam nut so I can lock it in exactly where it needs to be and weld it on a piece of rod here. Now finding exact top dead center, these have a mark on the oil pump versus the crank gear and that gets you pretty much where you should be. But just out of precaution, Thunderhead 289 on YouTube is freaking awesome. Came up with a great idea. Old spark plug, broke out the guts, tapped it and put a bolt in it. So this is a spare bolt. I think it was for a 350 water pump or something like that. My brother wound up getting extra and um, I actually had to um, cut it up higher because it um, didn't have nearly enough threads. So this goes down and actually is a piston stop. So hypothetically the way this works and just for round numbers and easy of a uh, demonstration, I put this in the spark plug hole for number one and I crank this around towards top dead center and it stopped at say 2340 here, that mark there. Okay, it stopped, it's up against the stop. Rotated the opposite direction, because that's the only way we can go, and we came up on hypothetically about 20. Cool. That means 20 minus 20, we're on zero on TDC. Thankfully, it didn't take a whole lot of playing with this thing to get it exactly zeroed up, which was fantastic. So, good news, crank sprocket and my oil pump line mark is actually uh, pretty accurate. Now, once that's set, we know our um, degree wheel here is exactly where it needs to be. I got this all fixture set up up top here. Now, these are Iski 270 grind cams. And we went by, here's all our information here. And just for poops and giggles, I'm gonna start with looking at the cam lift. Just see how what our max cam lift is. So to do that, we're currently at our lowest lifter height here. This is the intake lifter. This is what we're going with. And this is why I don't like this thing because it wiggles a little bit too much. All right, now I'm going to take and rotate it normal direction and we'll see just how much we wind up getting. So I'm going to put you right up here. Once this thing comes around to the intake stroke, there's exhaust. Here it comes. There's one rotation. There's two rotations. Be third rotation and we'll come up and peak at about I want to say 307 I think it was what was the highest it got something like that so 307 our height spec is 310 for lift so not not far off not far off that's not bad so now for checking our lobe center to see if that's correct we're going to take and get this as high as it possibly can go. So I'm going to have to back it up a little bit here. So get that back up to that 307. And there it is. All right. One thou off. Get back up there. There we go. So now we're going to zero this up. It's always so tedious. All right. So we're pretty much zeroed up here. Bam. Now, this is measured at 50. So that's what we're going to go with as far as uh, the simplicity of doing this. Now, here we go. So what we're watching is our, um, our dial indicator here. Let's see what we get. So we're going to go 50 before and 50 after. And that's going to give us our lobe center line. So let's see how close I can get going clockwise with the crank. There we are. And we have, let's say about 148. So 148. Let me get my phone going here. Use it for a calculator. If it'll wake up. So 148 plus what we get next. So our next one, we're going to have to go backwards. Rotate counterclockwise. 
And we come back up on zero and drop back to 50. So we're gonna go past it because we wanna be going in our rotation of direction for the engine when we're finding this. And we slow down, way slow down. So I can walk up on it and hopefully not pass. Oh, passed it. This is the most tedious part is just getting this thing to slowly creep up on where it's supposed to be. There it is. Second time's charm. Now we'll come back over here. Pretty much on 60. Hey, dead nuts. All right, let's see what our numbers are. So plus 60. We got 208, and then we divide by 2 to get our average here. We got 104. Now our spec was 111. So this actually comes out as being a bit advanced. Um, which being a street car, everything's straight up. I'm not too terribly concerned about it. Um, if we had adjustable cam gears, that might be something we could look into adjusting and tweaking and getting it to where it's supposed to be. But thankfully this one, he's just going to have a, a rip and ride regardless. And it should be fun regardless. So we're not going to we're going to get too bent out of shape about it. But there's a there's an example of how to how to do that with one of these engines. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody out in the future. And um, should they want to do something similar or find out and make sure the cams aren't what they're supposed to be. And to finish off, one thing to note, since this is a delivered cam, obviously engine, um, what you can do is take this piston stop that we made up that we talked about earlier. Stick that in the number two cylinder hole. Do the same thing where you come up on it and come back around on it and get that zeroed up for number two. Once you do that, then you can get this exact same setup replicated over on the opposite side and verify that cam, at least on the on the number one or number two in that case, has the exact same grind as the opposite one. Just for peace of mind, if you want to make sure, if you want to be that that uh that go through that tedious process and make sure of it, which is not a bad idea, but that's how you would do that is you need to zero this up based on that other cylinder. So you'd have to reset yourself here. So just future reference, just it's easily repeatable. You just have to do it for each cylinder, whichever cylinder you want to do it on. In this case, for simplicity, I just do it on number two, zero it up. So say come up on, you know, 110 or 80 and then come up on opposite side of that and get it all set. So hopefully this will help somebody out. Enjoy.